Hi, I'm Matthew Mayer, and I'll be taking you through the nine elements of digital citizenship. A digital citizen is, quite simply, someone who engages in online activities, such as social media and web browsing, whereas digital citizenship is the behavior one should adopt when using these platforms. The following are the nine elements of digital citizenship. Digital law, digital communication, digital access, digital etiquette, digital literacy, digital security, digital rights and responsibilities, digital commerce, and digital health and wellness. Digital law. Digital law encompasses being responsible for one's actions, whether they are ethical or unethical. It especially refers to those who use technology for unethical reasons, such as theft. Please remember to always act within the confines of the law when using various forms of technology. Digital communication can be defined as the exchange of information digitally between two or more sources. This form of communication is electronically encoded so as to allow for the exchange of information to take place. Be warned, this information is always stored and so can be accessed at any time. Digital access is simply electronic participation in today's society. This refers to access of all online platforms such as email and social media and it is our collective responsibility to strive for access for all. Digital etiquette refers to communicating in a respectful and decent manner. It becomes important to identify what is right from what is wrong. Digital literacy refers to one's digital ability where there is a need for both cognitive and technical skills. There now becomes a need for teaching and learning for this to take place. Digital security is the safety of a user when using various technologies and mainly refers to interference and unauthorized access. Improper use of technology, as we know, is a crime. When using technology, we are given a large degree of freedom and digital rights and responsibilities refer to using that freedom responsibly. Digital commerce is any commercial transaction that takes place online, and so it is important that we become responsible participants in the digital economy. Digital health and wellness refers to the psychological and physiological well-being of those who use various forms of technology. With all that being said, the main reason that good digital citizenship should be exercised is so that you can enjoy all that technology has to offer while mitigating its associated risks. Remember to stay safe and have fun.